Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the anti-fascist game jam. This was a game jam that took place at a couple of physical sites all over the world. Um, some of the games that were entered were physical games, and they weren't uploaded to itch, but a couple of games, or a couple of handfuls, I should say, of games were uploaded, and I'm playing those. I'll play each one for a minute. Uh, links to the individual games will be in the description, 10 per video, so you can check them out further if you'd like them. All my info is also in the description if you want to check me out in various social media platforms, as well as my Patreon, because this video, as always, is brought to you by the lovely people on Patreon who support me each and every month so I can continue to record so many indie games and game jams. If you like any of the content I create, consider supporting me. Anyway, let's get on with the games. Next. First, we're playing Skate Border. Let's wreck that wall. Alright, so I need to break more of the wall, but only like bad bits. Which I'm not quite doing well. It says release to do an ollie. Well, above a wall. Grind? So that's grinding. And that kind of breaks the wall. But you need to keep your grind. And I'm not releasing at the right time. Ah, there we go, there's a long bit. Awesome. I didn't jump far enough. So you need to ride a lot of the wall without falling on the ground. Well, that was kind of a good one. We started to get it there. Aw. Didn't do that well. Towards the end we started to sort of get it though. Next. We're playing arguing with a fascist is just arg. That's a cool like splash screen. Oh, I have to walk across it. There we go. Everything I don't comprehend is authoritarian. Alright, so I think I need to make it through this maze to the other side, but probably without hitting, like, as many of these as I can. Everything I hate is communism. God made men and women. <laughs> Feminism is bullshit. I'm free to demand a genocide. I will kill you. Oh, I can't even, like, go through that one. White power is nice. This country is mine. This is, like, horrible phrases. Most intellectuals are ruining everything. Science is bullshit. Democracy is bullshit. Guns solve everything. Still can't get through that one. Arts are bullshit. Everything has always been like this. The foreigners are fucking my women. <laughs> Video games are from machos. The foreigners are stealing our jobs. Now can I get through? No. Doesn't even matter what you listen to because you're always stuck. Quite a meaningful little game. Next. We're playing Dr. Robotnik Transformia to Do Toto Mon Mondu M? I'm using a controller, I think. Dr. Robot turns everybody into frogs. Ah, oh, that's probably what it means. They have like a big controller symbol, but it says enter there, so maybe I'll use keyboard? Yeah, I'm gonna use keyboard, I think. So they don't, there we go. Didn't know how to jump. Oh. That's annoying. He just turns them back. Yeah, so we can't touch the frogs. Ah. Well, I need to put them back as not frogs. Alright, so I guess it doesn't matter if I, like, actually hurt frog heads. Like, it's just for the second. I feel like I need to go up this way. And then come down. Oh, I have to, like, drop down as a ball. Hey, this is a challenging little game. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Next. We're playing Simuncle. So it has this tag in it. Would you like some more salad? Yes, thank you. You know, I noticed something. What is it? None of us are moving, or actually eating. 
Why not set two? Luckily, we're not the kind of family that would break the fourth wall to explain that this game is in super early and incomplete prototype. Definitely not. So anyway, did you, I tell you about the documentary I watched yesterday? Uh, ha ho, I can tell by the look on your face that a terrible joke is coming. It was a fascinating documentary about beavers. It was the best damn movie I've ever seen. Oh god. Ha ha, please don't encourage him. Your jokes aren't getting any better, Uncle, but I gotta say, your sweet potatoes are even more delightful than usual. Uh, I put extra care because it's one way to get you to come and visit us. Uh, new stuff. It's the only thing that'll give me enough strength for this sense of humor. Better have another serving then, because I'm just getting started. Haha. <laughs> but seriously, I'm glad you could come. I know it's great getting here by. I know it's not great getting here by bus. That like timer thing really threw me off. But by bus coming all the way from up there, it really isn't so bad. You just have to think to bring a book. Yeah, I was thinking so much of that. Let's just say you're not living in the best neighborhood. You feel safe walking around at night in that part of town. I feel lucky not to live in your neighborhood. I might get run over by a rogue BMW. I mean, I feel like I shouldn't say that. Actually, rate of violent crimes is any higher. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know about all that. I just know that people get shot in the streets around here. I like how it gave me different are on there. I like how it gave me different options. All I'm saying is that I care about your safety and wouldn't want you to end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Will you give it a rest now, you two? Yes, yeah, seriously. This turkey is really good, Auntie. Well, thank you very much. I was worried it was too dry. So how are you going? How is your fall going so far, Uncle? Well, you know, I'm still looking for work. It's not easy. There's a lot more competition than there used to be in my line of work. Why is that? Well, you know, with all these new hiring policies, it's hard for a decent, hard-working Canadian to make a living. Uh, marginalized people face tons of barriers. Uh, there's so many different options, because my uncle's slightly racist, so... Uh. <laughs> well, you'll find out first time we start looking for work. He just, like, I didn't reply, so he just continued the conversation. This is really well made. It's a lot how, like, a lot like how conversations go. Next. We're playing I Can't Believe Pavia. I don't know if I've said that person's name right. It's making another, other, another of these car video games. Alright, there is someone still playing these car video games. Alright, where am I? Am I? Oh, I'm this one. I thought it was the red car. I have zero patience left for this cockroach mismatch. Well, I'm collecting these cockroaches, so... I fucking hate this apocalypse bullshit. Our resources and tools have been destroyed. Wait, wait. The guy who tried to kill us will still have it. Looks like we have survived. Alright, so I've talked to all of the, the people in my like, little village. And I'm gonna eat the cockroaches, I think. I can't get to that one. Your existence deprives us of superiority. So we created your misery through violence and destruction. The tools and resources belong to us. Just like your life from now on. You can't fight such oppression with a bitsy game. This situation needs some arcade action. Aww. You can also, like, leave the title screen. Interesting. What if I go around? No, can't go around. Hmm. Next. We're playing Mortal Worlds. Alright, controls. F to shoot hearts. Each heart's... Spend willpower. G to spend your willpower to protect you. ASD to collect friends, families, and love to increase your willpower. Fight. Latin. Do I need to type those? Fat. I'm gonna kind of move that. There we go. White. Bitch. Okay, so I need to just sit here and send him love. Oh, but now I've, I guess now I've got a friend. That one went out and shot. Okay. Was it D? Okay. I don't think, I think I used up my stuff too fast. Yeah, I'm probably gonna fall because I've used all of my willpower very fast. Hate wins love. Aww. That's quite sad. Next. We're playing a sound which nobody hears is nothing. This is my dresser. This is where I sleep. My plant, I should probably water it before I go. Waters. I have to change the world again, huh? We're so proud of you. Don't forget, violence breeds more violence. Oh, it's a poster. It says white power. Notice, notice. White people rally at garg. Garg? 
Park, 12 p.m. noon, Saturday, the 10th of September. As seen here, on Saturday, September 10th at 12 o'clock noon, thousands of white people will come to gag? I don't know, it looks like gag almost. Park, to Richard B. Spencer, the man who is fighting the black slum invasion of our neighborhood, bring your friends. After the rally, come to the giant mass rally of white people at Colosseum. That's today. Crowds, yes, I'm scared. <laughs> Crowds, we are afraid. Let's listen to what he has to say. I'm George Lincoln Rockwell. America was built by and for the white Christian people of this nation. Crowd, we want safety. Welcome to the good side of history. There are plenty of compassionate and inspiring people here to talk to. Maybe you'll pick up some ideas for dealing with the rally. Spend some time and gather their wisdom. I don't think they have nothing to say after that. After they introduce themselves. That's just the beginning. I was born on January 9th, 1959, in La Chamel, Guatemala. I received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1992. I support human and indigenous rights. I am of Kachin, Mayan descent. My name is Ringo Berta Menchum. I probably said these names wrong. I am like a drop of water on a rock. After drip, drip, dripping in the same place, I begin to leave a mark, and I leave my mark in many people's hearts. Peace cannot exist without justice. Justice cannot exist without fairness. Fairness cannot exist without development. Development cannot exist without democracy. Democracy cannot exist without respect for the identity and worth of cultures and people. I like the amount of stuff they have to say, and I like the fact that there's like a load of different people here, and I feel like these are actual direct quotes, which are super nice. It's a very well put together game. Next. We're checking out Beating the Fascists. This is a board game, but it's currently only available in Portuguese, so downloading the PDF and looking at it, it's not in English. There are some pictures of it, though. These graphics look really nice. And it looks like a pretty interesting game. Lots of dice. Lots of dice that represent something. We've got little heart buttons. I don't know, though, because I don't speak Portuguese. This almost looks like your, like, character sheet, right? And what you what your different stats are. So it looks like some in-depth characters and there's some people playing the game. Well, there's one more image. There's sort of people. I'm guessing the people maybe replace the dice. I don't know. Well, the dice decided where the people go down. I don't know because I can't read it. But if you can read Portuguese and you want a board game about beating the fascists, here you go. Next. We're playing Limpenza Paparaz. I don't know how to say it. And I might not be able to actually read any of this, to be honest, because it looks like it's story-based and not in English. I'm not getting rid of these. Oh, these are homeless people. I didn't realize I was spraying homeless people. That's not cool at all. Oh, and the police are sort of telling them to leave me alone, it seems. Can I spray the police? Yeah, that wasn't cool. Like, the 13th of March, 2018, in a town. Is this a thing that actually happened? Is that what this is trying to tell me? That's a pretty fucking shitty thing to do. Next. We're playing one son. What do you think it means today? And I don't really know how to play. Do it. I think we need to switch people. I'm trying to look at like the different keys it wants me to use. I'm not quite sure at all. So go back. How do I get you guys? Do I sort of click this number? I feel like. I don't know. Oh. Do I have to go back and talk to them first? Well, I'm kind of fighting people off, it feels like. Here, come with me, person. Weird. Next. 